So I found that the cycle base, the plug-in cycle base, can perform better than the EQ, the wing EQ. So the first thing I have to make sure I pump in a sine wave from the oscillator. So what I'm doing is I'm sending a sine wave at 80 hertz. So this is my level and it's in my channel one. So it's my channel one. So this is my EQ. If I turn on my EQ, so I, I'm sending to bus. So I can send the audio to bus. So this is when I turn on the EQ. Then I select my channel one back, turn off the EQ and insert the cycle base and go to bus two and check my EQ is equivalent. So it's quite the same. Okay. So to ensure that I can see that properly, I'm turning on the RTA auto gainer. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on this EQ and I switch to my bus one because I'm sending the, I mean, the process signal is sending the bus one. So we can see the result from bus one. And then I turn off the EQ and I turn on the cycle base. This one, the cycle base and we compare the result at the bus one. So when I turn on this and I move to my bus one, so this is my bus one and you can see, and I go back to my channel one, I turn off my wing EQ and I turn on my cycle base. So my cycle base intensity set at zero dB, base gain at zero, and the crossover frequency at 80 hertz. And let's see what is the result in the bus one. So, okay, you can see there's another peak here, a smaller peak, but we'll go and see what is the frequency of this. It's about 163.5 hertz. So basically this is the first harmonic of the frequency of the 80 hertz. Uh, this cycle base will create a, a improve instead of that particular frequency it will improve upon on the harmonics uh, as what we can see in the bus one you can see there's a first harmonic is boosted as well uh, so in certain instrument low frequency instrument when we are using this cycle base maybe this harmonic can improve the audio quality more give you better sound quality and better sensation so maybe we can we can try a kick drum before we play the music let's make sure uh, both is the same in terms of the response so first i'm going to change from the sine wave to uh, ping noise and with this i will have um, in the eq session should be almost like this so okay let's turn on the cycle base so you can see the bump of this cycle base so we use this as a reference okay so we go back to the channel one turn off the cycle base turn on the wing we go back to the bus one and have a look. Okay. Yeah, we got it almost the same. Maybe here we need to trim a bit. Yeah, I think it's, we, we have a roughly almost the same response. So let's compare with a kick drum. So I will play a kick from my phone solo so what you're listening now is the original without any EQ or plug-in and let's turn on the EQ Okay, you can feel the difference when I turn on the EQ.
turn off. So it's dinner. It's all about psycho bass. So there's definitely there's a difference. Let me fast toggle between these two. Okay, let's change to different kind of kick, kick out. Okay, this is the original, the original. Turn on the EQ. So there's a definitely there's a tiny difference. Uh, I feel that the psycho bass is more natural. Maybe it's due to the harmonic. So I'm not sure whether the recording you can listen to it. So now we are still in the psycho bass. Turn off. Yes, I feel that the, with the EQ is definitely is hollower. The sound is much more hollower than the cycle bass.